Hey there, I'm Mary. Um, I've been thinking about uh, doing an equestrian vlog for quite a while, kind of like what we do throughout the day as equestrians. Um, run a boarding facility, so there's a lot more I do than probably just the normal horseback riders. Um, I do ride dressage. I'm also an animal advocate. Um, I protest Ringling Brothers as often as I can in any other circus. Um, and SeaWorld, they're all bad. You should Google SeaWorld and um, circus cruelty for sure. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get my day started. I don't do well before caffeine, so you got to give me props for doing this before caffeine. So I will post more later. Bye. Okay, I had to get this part for sure because one of the funniest things that I have to um, get deal with in the morning, deal with I guess is the best way to put it because he's a noisy little bugger butt, um, is my little pony Elvis. Um, loves his food, so you'll find out in about three seconds. Presley. Oh, now you're not going to do it. Oh, got chilly. Quit. Shh. That's all I get? That was pretty pathetic, yeah? Ah, one other thing I will say that we do, um, like I said, it's chilly and I didn't realize it was getting chilly, is um, I will put regular just table white salt about an ounce in their food bowls anytime the weather changes like that. Um, so it's just kind of a good bit of extra information on horse care. So anyway, bye. This is what we refer to as the roach coach. All their little buckets nice and ready to go for their noms. There we go. That's what I was talking about, a little hungry man. Elvis, are you hungry? <laughs> what? Yeah? pretty bad, huh? Are you going to make it? Maybe? Can you back up, please? Back up. Good boy. He's actually, he's a really cool color. It's just crappy weather lighting. So, anyway, I'm going to continue doing what I do, and I'll post more later. Bye. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm going to see how much I can video all at once with my phone. Charisma! Stop, ma'am. And uh, so you can see what all I'm doing. This is impatient. Spoiled brat. So usually what I do is I put her food over here because she's very sneaky and she loves to get out and kind of run willy-nilly on the land. All right, hang on, ma'am. You're home. And I just kind of move them to different stalls because it just makes it easier instead of having ponies arguing over food. Um, stuff like that. Hi, Fem. This is Fem. That's Charisma's mother. Come with me, dear. Smile, Peanut. You're on candid camera. We call her Peanut, too. Good girl. So that's that lot done. And then... Must do shut doors because ponies like to escape. Hi, Fem. That little mare, all of my northern friends will laugh at. That poor thing, she'll shiver when it's 60 degrees, 55, without a blanket. Um, everybody says Arabians are really tough. I think they can be, but I think she's extremely sensitive to the cold. She's like me, because I don't like it either. Oh, I guess that's how that's gonna go. Gotta go, you gotta go. This is for the two painties. They're my boarders horses. That's KG. <clears throat> That's Jet. Don't finger, feed your fingers to Jet. Got it, darlings. And I dropped this little wood board. And in theory, she should go in her stall. We'll see. Come on, KG. Girl. Miss your turn, ma'am. Good ponies. It doesn't always go like that. <laughs> There have been plenty of times where the other mare ends up in here, and then poor Jet's like, oh god, what do I do? And that's Bella. That's Elvis's little daughter. And I'm actually doing this pretty quick. Two minutes, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Back up, Munchkin. She's a Welsh pony. Um, she'll be four years old. She's about 14, 14 hands, 13 threes, so let's see in people's size, it's about here, wait, her back's about here-ish, so she's picky too. And that's it for the ones in the barn. I'm going to go outside and feed some that are outside, which I can't take my camera today because of the rain, so be back.
What are you doing? Little trolls? Little wee trolls. <laughs> are you doing my jacket? No. So I have to take these bowls out. Meep, meep. Excuse you, darling. To those two and, and three, actually, those three. Um, so I wish it was prettier out today. What a drag. I was going to ride a bunch of ponies today, but uh, apparently that might change. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Hooray. Um, anyway, I'm going to put my phone down because it can't come with when it's raining. Bye. Wah. That's the only drawback to being single sometimes. I have to do it all by myself. So, I'm single. Love horses, animals, no hunting, no smokers. Must be over six foot. Just kidding, not really looking. Um, uh, I guess it's not going to unload itself, is it? So here's one of the lovely girls like I was talking about earlier. Getting ready to work Kessel. We'll see how that goes. And here's the other girl, teen slash Valerie, and her little pony Aragon. So hopefully this will go well. We'll see. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, what'd I do? Oh, I really suck at videoing, I'm not even gonna lie. What a brat, you hear him banging on the bucket out there? I need a boyfriend. No, that was Louie. Having a hissy fit. That's my mama. Get away from my mama. Oh, you look beautiful, Aragon. We'll try again. Oh dear. Come on, and that's the good one too. There we go. What is he talking to? Relax. Right. I am relaxed. I suck at videotaping horses, I really do. I ain't gonna lie.
course, it would be helpful if my tripod worked. Good boy. Good boy. I'm so hot. Fat man, that's why. Your wiggly legs? That's what I'm talking about. That's right there. I'm taping your legs, wiggling. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. There it is. Nope. They're still wiggling. Still wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, right there on video. <laughs> I don't think I did a dog intro. Izzy. Here's Junior. Here's Junior, that's mommy's baby, yes. And then there's Izzy, Isabella, who's rubbing her back because we had a whole flea thing with sentinel trifexes. Sentinel sucks. Tisha, come. Ask Tisha. Tisha, no, eating poop, that's lovely. And that's Bailey, bringing up the rear. We're all rescues, essentially. Tisha is an Anatolian shepherd. Had her, I don't know how long I've had her now, at least seven or eight years, seven years maybe? Six years, I don't know. I have no time conception. June, you don't want a bath? Are you sure? Are you sure? He's pretty concerned that's where he's going next. Kassam is nice. Oh, yay! Feed time! Elvis is very happy about feed time. He's so excited. Commences the feeding. Yeah, wait for it. Yeah, he hears he hears the feed wagon a mile away, that little guy. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh yeah? So where are you going? Yes, this is what they do when they're excited for it. Oh, so excited. Very excited. Make him so make him be still though. Tell him to be still. Be still. He knows his big boy words. Very angry though. <laughs> Hi, Kassam. Oh, are you gonna have to get off your food bowl, sir, so I can get to it? No, you're not? Really? Are you sure about that? Mm. Yummy. Yum. You're welcome. That's basically how that goes, times 17. Runnies. There we go. Let's just say. Yeah. Watch out, Valerie. Squeeze. First gear, please. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, she's so pretty. We already said this earlier. I love her. So pretty. <gasps> uh, I gotta zoom it. You gotta do. They're in the gates. They're ready. Oh God, that was like drunk. They're in position. They're going by the gates. She's letting them open. Silence. And they're off with KG in the lead and Jerry right behind. <laughs> it the looks like it's going to KG. Beautiful flying change to Jet go. though. Lovely, clean sir. Oh, except for your body. That was a beautiful clean change, sir. Sorry that you were beaten by a woman. <laughs> this is the lovely and beautiful KG. She's a boarder's horse, uh, aka the SS Titanic. And the donkey's head come in. This is Jet. He has to wear a bug mask because he has very sensitive eyeballs. He can be a little bit grumpy. He's a boarder's horse too, so that's Jet. Charisma. And that's Charisma. She's having a hormonal lack of control at the moment, which happens. She's absolutely in love with this man over here because she got loose last night and her hormones said he's just super sexy and now she can't control herself. So... Maybe I'll tell you a Christmas story down the road. She's kind of a big deal. This is also a border's horse's left is Mutton. Um, she's a three-year-old Frisian cross cutie patootie. On the right is Kiss. She's a leopard Appaloosa Frisian cross. And this is, where is she? Oops, sorry, Fly. That's Fly. She's a self francais mare. And that is, where'd he go? That is her son, Versailles, a.k.a. Sai. Versailles! 
So pretty. Hi, Kiss. I'll get the last guy in for the night. Louie. He's somewhere over there-ish, but that'll be the last one to feed. Come on! He'll have to stop and paw before I get him because that's just, he's got to get the last word in of whininess. Go ahead, do it. Well, of course, now that I said he's going to do it, he's not going to. There we go. Boo-hoo. I want in. Wah. Are you a crybaby? Yeah? You are a crybaby. That's Louie. He's my boy. I've had him for 18 years. Okay, so it's like 6.30. Um, usually I don't do their last hay until 7.30, but like I said earlier, there's been a change in weather by about probably 30 degrees. So uh, tonight is going to be blankets. Um, so we'll start with this guy, Kassim. Let's see if I can find him a little bit better. Kassim! I'll try to do an overlay on his story. That's a pretty good one. Um, I got him to foster from a rescue because not a lot of people have stallion experience. Um, not all stallions are wild and crazy, um, but you gotta know what you're doing. They like to bite. There's, I like to joke about there being a direct connection to uh, cojones to teeth. Uh, for whatever reason, they like to use their mouths a lot, but it's just a super, super sweet man. And didn't, not that any of them deserve to be neglected like that. Um, you can see him now, he's like some fat and healthy and shiny. Um, he weighed, right now he's 16 hands and he weighs, oh, probably 1,100, 1,200 pounds. When I got him and I picked him up, he was 625 pounds, so it's pretty bad. I'll try to do an overlay on his uh, Facebook site, um, or on his thingy about his Facebook page. Um, but yeah, he's going to his first show with um, Callie in March, so it's kind of exciting to take a horse from Death's Door into a show ring and just show people that um, thoroughbreds are worth more than um, just to use them up on a racetrack. Um, he's a retired racehorse. I wasn't fast enough on the track, um, but he's still got a lot, lot left to offer. I mean, even if he wasn't a show horse, um, which he's got a fantastic temperament for, um, he's just he's just a good dude. And uh, none of them deserve that kind of treatment. Um, happy to help. Happy to have helped him. And uh, it's what I do. It's what I love to do. Um, so anyway, let's put a blank on this poor guy before he freezes his little bum off. And I'm sure this is going to take me a hundred years to upload on Facebook to see if I can set this up to where we can still see what I'm doing. Probably not. No touch of the phones. And, uh... My friends just told me I talk too fast, so I shall try to talk slower. It is, I guess, a habit a lot of Americans don't touch the phone, get into, uh, I don't know why we talk so fast, why are we in such a hurry? It seems like in general Americans are in a hurry, don't you think? Um, hurry to do this, hurry to do that. Um, let's say when I have to blanket probably all 14 horses, and including the two little mini donkeys here. Which I'm not going to tonight. It's not going to be that bad. But um, on average, that takes 45 minutes. If it's raining and yucky out, it takes a little bit over an hour sometimes. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. But that's what you do. It's like more like a 24-hour job. And I joke about it being 14 hours.